Hey everyone, welcome to my staircase. Um, kind of sticking with my doing videos in random places theme. Um, and this is my new location for today. Um, this is a review for the Gaming Greats um, Vintage Collection Heavy Battle Droid right there. Um, <clears throat> it's a pretty good figure. Um, I mean, it's got them from kind of all over the place. There's a uh, one of them I got from Hasbro Pulse. I forgot to cancel a pre-order, and it came in. Um, and the other two I got from GameStop. I actually went into the store and pre-ordered them. That way, um, I avoided like shipping costs and stuff. Um, that's one of my biggest issues with. Um, a lot of these exclusive lines and stuff like that is um, sometimes it can be hard to get them in store and I don't like paying shipping um, I've been spoiled by um, Target I have a red card with them and it allows for free shipping on most items and um, I know there's some restrictions now but I mean like I pre-ordered Maul and Ahsoka from there which have not come in yet because there would be reviews of them um i know there's been a bunch of issues with those um but you know i'm getting free shipping with those so i'd rather get them through target or something rather than an online retailer which i'm nothing against online online retailers and there are some people that just have terrible luck with um walmart and target um i usually luck out either in store or online um but Gaming Greats, you can only get them with the, um, the, uh, through GameStop, or there's the online retailers like Entertainment Earth or, um, you know, Big Bad Toy Store and stuff like that. Um, if you hear a noise, it is somebody doing their yard work right now. I have my door open so I can get some nice natural light in here for this video. Um, so I'll try and talk over them as much as possible. Um... But I got a um, few of them, uh, three of them, and I have them to compare with the uh, previous battle droids. Um, and I have two that came, are from, I'm assuming, one of the original releases. And um, I have one of this one right here which is the most recent re-release um that is a uh, using a plastic that is much more um on par with the one that they used for the um heavy battle droid um a little bit like these ones much harder plastic for the limbs um the plastic's pretty much the same for like the torso and the head and like the neck but when it comes to the limbs they've definitely used um, a, uh, less rigid plastic, um, it's not terrible, um, and it can help a little bit with, um, the arms, because <clears throat> we'll get the, uh, they, they kind of tease us a little bit. We've got, a the card art here, which is pretty cool, but you've got the battle droid with his arm turned, holding the gun properly. Which you cannot do with the Vintage Collection um, version of the figure because it just, there's no like wrist or forearm articulation. I know most people watching this video know this already, um, but it makes it difficult for him to hold the guns in a natural position. But what I like to do is I can, or you can take like one of their fingers and like there are these little like spokes here and kind of like wedge a finger into those and it can of course then he let's go with his other hand um but once you get a finger in there it's in there really tight and um it, then you can move it to get the other hand on the uh on the grip there So he comes with this long blaster rifle, which really cool. Definitely um, 
You can definitely use them with like um, some scout troopers or something too, or just any other trooper. Because um, you'll probably have spares because he comes with the regular droid blaster as well. Um, and yeah, I mean overall, I love these figures. Um, they can actually get into like a really awesome kneeling position. You can see with this guy over here. Um, he's, it's a really good, like, since the limbs are just, like, so, like, it, you know, like, 90 degree, or, not 90 degree, but you can get the, the legs, like, they have, like, the cutout, so you can get it right up against the other one. Um, kind of like if you had, like, a double-jointed knee on a figure, which isn't always necessary, but, um, I mean, these guys, you can fold them up into an, pretty accurate pose um, to what they would be if they're like turned off or whatever in the movies but, um, yeah you can get them in a nice kneeling pose um, <clears throat> but, yeah definitely a nice paint deco on it too they did a really good job. Um, having it um, match the one from the video games from Battlefront 2. Um, we've got... Where the accessory is. Here we go. <clears throat> it's like I said, they come with the long blaster. Come with the small blaster. I really wish one thing that the like original Phantom Menace, like battle droids have over these ones is they actually have like a little cutout in the backpack and you're able to like stick the gun onto it i don't think that's accurate to the movies i think they like attach like this somehow it's weird um something like that but um it would have been cool if there's a little cutout so you could like have him packing a small blaster and like the heavy blaster And then they also come with piece of hair there. Get out. They also come with this like small like antenna that you can plug into the back as well. You can take the backpack off and plug the small one in. Um, yeah, definitely a fun figure. Um, again, if you're disappointed with like the quality of the plastic, it seems to be a little better with these ones than. Um, the re-release over here, he seems to be a little bit gummier, um, and, and I think just, like, the paint job they did on that, that one just makes him kind of look cheaper, too. Um, I don't know, it's a very, very shiny, like, finish they put on it, and they, like, left out some details, like, on the original release. You can see that the, uh, That they painted like a little like silver bit right there for like the little piston in his arm and stuff. They just didn't do that with the uh, the re-release. You know, little details like that they've been skipping out on a little bit. Um, but those are also details that like if you're getting into customizing you could add on to like something like they didn't do that little detail with these either. But again, they've got a nice, like they look like they're made, they're metal. Like they look like they're like with the paint job and the like the light kind of sheen finish they have on them. Like they look like they're like a shiny kind of metal um, as opposed to that, which is like, I don't know. It's like candy almost, um, the finish on that. But, um, but yeah, if you can pick some up, um, GameStop, I know the other day, I think they had some on their website. Um, I don't know if many of them will be getting them in stores. I know I talked to one a game store GameStop um employee and he was saying that um they usually only get enough in stores to fulfill pre-orders. And after hearing that, I put in um a pre-order for a few of them. Um that way again, could avoid shipping costs. Just put like $5 down on each one. And then you know, it came a little later than some of the other, I think they fulfilled, um, online pre-orders, um, a bit sooner, but it was like a week, week later or something, um, I got a call that 
my figures had come in. So, um, so yeah, if you have a local GameStop, you know, you can kind of support them um, by doing that, going in, um, pre-ordering at the store. Um, that way, um, the only downside is, the I mean, the ones I got were a little, a little beat up, the cards. Um, I'm an opener, so it's whatever for me, but um, I know many collectors, especially for the gaming grades, like they've got great looking cards. A lot of people are going to want to keep them on card um, for display purposes. Um, so if that's the case, probably ordering from Entertainment Earth or somewhere like that would be a much better option, um, being as they do put a lot of care into their packaging. Um, I have... I don't think I've ordered anything from them before, um, but I have ordered a few things from some smaller um, online retailers um, that, you know, they, they do. Like, I got one... I got a Scout Trooper from CTO Collectibles. Um, I think they're relatively new to the game, um, but, you know, they put it in, like, a clamshell and everything. Like, they did a great job. Just for me to take it out of the box and rip, rip it open and play with them. Um, but... It's very appreciated with, within the community when a company does put that much effort into packaging the figures. And they're going at their lawn again. I'm sure you can probably hear it in the background. Um, yeah, that's my review of the Heavy Battle Droid. A um, little comparison here and there. Um, definitely a fun figure. Um, you know, just a few issues with just the overall sculpt of the figure that they're not going to change anytime soon. Um, but, um, it's definitely a great battle droid. It's, like, the proportions are perfect as far as, like, how they're represented, represented on screen and whatnot. Um, definitely, um, needs to be repainted. Like, take, change back to this plastic here. That'd be perfect. Um, and paint it up. Do the red version, the blue version. I have the pilot, the security droid. Um, you can do so many different um, Clone Wars iterations that have appeared with just like some uh, like you know blue paints all over them and stuff. Um, definitely plenty, plenty of mileage um, can be had with this figure here, um, this sculpt, this mold. Um, thanks for watching, everybody, um, and have a good one. Bye, guys.